The Innovators is brought to you by the Jamaica Yellow Pages. What will you discover today? Columbus Business Solutions, the Jamaica Business Development Corporation, the Gleaner, Future Services International, and Silver Star Motors. Innovators Yannick Page and Gary Matalin. Over the next several weeks, they'll be helping aspiring and struggling entrepreneurs to make more money. Yannick Page launched her first business at age 17 and knows how to start a business on a shoestring budget. She's a certified trainer in entrepreneurship and workforce innovation and is also the founder of the award-winning company, Future Services International. Gary Matalin is the co-founder and director of New Stone Limited. This successful entrepreneur is also the co-founder of KLE Group, owners and operators of Fiction Lounge and Usain Bolt's Tracks and Records. This week, they will be joined by guest innovator, Ron Hill Thompson, president of the Young Entrepreneurs Association of Jamaica. Brian here, Yannick. Today we're going to meet Clancy Williams. He makes kitchen countertops and he's developed a business around that. So let's watch this video and learn a bit more about him. Hi, I'm Clancy Williams, co-owner of Granite Prefab and Slab Supplies. It's not a journey to get weak, journey to get in. It's all about the journey. Well, I dropped out of school at the age of 17 in grade 11 at Belfield Comprehensive High School because my parents couldn't afford to send me to school anymore. I'm coming from afar, still got far to go, journey's just begun. I'm I went to Cameron Industry for an interview. First we were cutting kitchen, then I've moved on up by the countertop department. I was in that department for about five years, and after I've got transferred to the post farm department, which is the farm mic countertop. Then I decided it's time for my life to move forward in terms of taking steps to move on to my goal. My goal was to establish myself and what I have to offer to people in terms of my service. All right, interesting. I want to meet him. Let's yes. bring him in. Basically, I'm a bit nervous, you know, facing the innovator, but at the same time, I'm excited. All right, Clancy, so we were struggling to understand the various aspects of your business. So tell us really what you do and what's the vision for your business. Well, basically, it's all about um, granite countertop slash a little cabinet making and so forth. How long ago you started the business? Um, we actually start from 2010. Since we returned from um, Cayman, we were in the Cayman Islands working. There was a call from a gentleman in Cayman and he said, Clancy, I need three persons. And I said, wow, but my friend is here and we're in the same field. So I think you come on board. And he said, yes, come on board. We went to Cayman and then we become more unique in terms of the skill that we developed over the years. So it was from then David and I decided to go into the business. We were on a job site and he said to me, Clancy, you know, we can do this back home. And I said, whoa. Are you registered? Do you have, do you have a formal name for your business? No, no. Okay, so you, ha you don't really have anything set up yet? No, no. So where you get your clients from? Um, basically, we have like flyers and business cards. So we like issue it out and leave it in hardwares, banks, and so forth. Who are your competitors, and how do you differentiate yourself as against your competitors? Well, you have um, Exotic Stone, and you have Active Traders, quite some more. So, but basically, the market is huge. So, but how do you differentiate yourself? In terms of from your quality, competitors? quality, the quality that we have done in the past, and what we still do, we maintain a quality that's when the client get his job complete, you can just see that glowing smile on her face and she can just take up her phone and call her, her friend and say, 
Girl, you got to come and see this. Quality and value for your money. That's what we are all about. 110% no less at all times. That's what we've been people. That's what we are bringing to the table. Quality and value for your money and guarantee no less. Your business is, is customized cabinetry and countertops. It's, you don't have a showroom that I can walk into and see a, a line of, of counters no. that you no. provide. No, no. So, not yet. okay, where would I be able to choose the granite? Because I know if I'm buying granite, I can go into a yard and I can actually choose, or you have a catalog. So, how would I be able to choose? How, how do you facilitate now, that? Basically, what happened, we have like samples that we get from where we, we buy the granite, and most of our customers bring their samples. Uncle Clancy, he has the skills that we can prove, but he's not the kind of person that likes to go around the books. There's the necessity to be able to mix both the trade and the business. He needs to be able to combine them and make them flow. So you're not actually providing the granite? Sometimes, but we like what we do now. When the customers require a particular granite, we normally like purchase it for her. So do you get him. it at a discount? Because you see that what I'm trying to understand is yeah. if you have to buy from your competitor, you could never have prices as good as, as they do. We're offering service in terms of workmanship and quality and that's what we have to offer still to come on the innovators what he hasn't done is to actually you know create a model where he's going to formalize the business mm -hmm. move from doing a little thing on the side to actually creating a business at columbus business solutions we have a team of 29 sales reps and what I always say to them, they come from various backgrounds, selling to many different types of customers. But there's three things that, if you get it right, represent success. Firstly, is to be able to create, through our technology, new opportunities for our customers. Secondly, is to maybe generate some efficiencies in their business. And finally, and most importantly, to re reduce the total cost of operating for them. Clancy, tell me a bit about the production side of the business. You you have um, all kind of specialized equipment. You have a, a factory type environment that you do the actual cutting and putting. I wouldn't say assembly. we have um, quite um, a factory type. We are just setting up. We are not circulating yet. We don't have the funds in terms of to inject in the business to take it from being a trade man and selling just service to supply because that's our main goal is to supply our own material in terms of competing with whosoever now we're buying from. Tell me a bit about the finances of the business. Are you profitable now? Tell me what your revenues are like for last month, this month and what's your target? What are you hoping to earn? I would be lying to you if we have like a target that we, we set. Hold on. Do you know how much money you made last month? Last month, yeah, I do. But you don't have any target for what you want to earn? No, there is yeah. no target. So you're like blind, because you don't know where you're going? No, we are not making money, because most of the things that we use are from overseas. So if we're going to say we're making money, we'll be lying to you, because it's not an easy Thing to make money. I think we have a bit of work to do. Give us a little while. We're gonna come up with a, a plan, see if we can help you out. This is what we're gonna do and we're gonna make it and there is no doubt that we can do it. We just have to believe. He needs a lot of help because he doesn't have any plan it seems to me and really I think he's just an installer and what he hasn't done is to actually you know, create a model where he's going to formalize the business, mm -hmm. move from doing a little thing on the side to actually creating a business. He has no presence. You can't find him in the yellow pages. You can't find him online. online. I mean, it's really a ghost. The frightening part is that you're not getting the answers from him yeah. when you ask them. Those yeah. are things that need to be on the tip of his tongue if he's looking to build this business. Yeah, I, I get the feeling that he's feeling around. Yeah. He's just feeling around. And Business is more than feeling around. You have to have structure, and without structure, the business will collapse. 
you're gonna need to make a decision, Clancy, whether whether it is you want to be a tradesman or you want to run a business. Definitely, you need to be a lot more fluent. You need to understand the numbers off the top of your head, and we need to we need to address that right away. You don't have a plan. You don't have a target. If you don't have a target, you'll never reach it. You need to know exactly where you're going and how you're going to get there. You need to go back to basics. So we're going to send you to JBDC to create a business plan because I do believe, we do believe that's where you need to start. You need to have some sort of structure for that business and the business plan will help you to get there. I think the next time we see you, we expect that you're gonna tell us whether you're gonna be in this thing and run a real business um, or if you're just gonna go back to, you know, doing your trade. Good luck, Clancy. It's now time for the assignments. So I'm happy to see you here today and today we're going to do a crash course in business planning, right? Because one of the things that I realize is that you need some help in terms of how you're going to plan your business. There's no way that you can grow, there's no way that you can be successful if you don't actually create a plan. So I wanted to share with you, there is actually a way that you can actually manage your financials using what is called Microsoft Excel, have you ever heard of it? Yeah. So Microsoft Excel is a free product, it's, it's available once you have a computer that has you know, Microsoft Office on it and you can actually use that to create a spreadsheet to manage your expenses and to manage um, you know, the income. Very important is that when you're starting out, you need to do a projected profit and loss. You know, you have to do your estimated profit and loss, you have to do your break even analysis and you have to do your cash flow projections. If you don't have cash coming into your business, it will kill your business. It don't matter how good your business is. There are many good businesses across the world that have gone out of business. They were good, but guess what? They didn't manage their cash. In this economy, you have to manage your cash. When, when you manage your cash flow, you're pretty much doing projections for an entire year, right? Yeah. So what I'm gonna send you to do is to do your projections for month one, month two, month three, month four. What are you projecting? You're projecting how much cash you need, right? So how much cash will come into the business and how much cash is gonna go out of the business. So you're projecting your revenues and you're projecting your expenses. Yeah. Every single expense has to be accounted for. I mean, some people don't like numbers, but let me tell you, in business, you better love numbers because numbers is really all about the money and you have to understand what's going in and what's coming out, you have to manage that. The last thing I want to share with your clients is that you, operate at a level where the quality of your work is excellent. As the economy gets worse, you need to look outside Jamaica. Stop thinking that the only place that you can do business in Jamaica. You said you used to be in Cayman before and you've done work there. You can also try to set up a company in a different Caribbean country. Some of those countries are able to pay the premium, pay you even more than you would get. So don't be afraid of the travel. Right? And don't be actually afraid to go to new markets. The issue is, how do you break into a new market? It's all about trying to make the right connections. You were there already, so you can try and make those connections again. And then try to get those contracts. Coming up on The Innovators. The main thing that we were hoping for, for you, was for you to make a decision. Are you going to formalize this thing and run a real business? Give me an idea of what your, what your revenues are like right now. How many people a week do you see? How you charge out? I see like, let me see, like a small amount, like maybe like almost like 15 a week. Well, since the innovators were making a lot more money, and we even got a lot more clients because persons didn't even know about the job. So thanks to the innovator for enlightening persons out there and build our clientele list and all of that. So I have to say thanks to the innovator. Hi Clancy, welcome to Columbus Business Solutions. Good to have you. Do you use customer testimonials on your printed material? Yeah. Okay, that's definitely something I'd recommend, absolutely, because when I'm buying, I want to hear that uh, the people that I'm going with have done a good job. 
um, and certainly I think online represent, represents a fantastic opportunity for you to uh, you know, have a picture of the customer, things positive that they're saying about the work that you've done and then you can tie it in very neatly with pictures of the kind of before, during and after job that you've done for them. Clearly to reduce your cost of sale is critical, okay? So you need to find granite at a cheaper cost, that improves your margin, um, or get aggressive with the suppliers on island as you build the business. So, you know, if you go and maybe make commitments for the next 12 months to the granite suppliers and say, okay, rather than dealing it on one job at a time, you say, okay, what if over the next 12 months I was to say to you, I'm going to do 12 jobs and I'm going to make that commitment. Can I do a better deal with you, you know? And that will hopefully build in some better margins on job by job and that would help. It's you, Mr. John Clear at Columbus Business Solution. I've come to realize that there was so much things we could accomplish by just maintaining what we do best. So really, I would suggest that you use online, internet, to, you know, email, if you gather emails from people as well. And I think reaching other businesses and again using the internet to look up property developers, architects' offices, um, those kinds of things um, are, are definitely something that you should be using. So simple things um, that you could use in terms of using, utilising technology to grow the business. And I think looking at what you've done and where you're, you're coming from, trying to grow the business, you really do need to apply as much as you possibly can. And these are, again, in terms of fixed cost, low to the business, so in terms of cash flow, they don't eat up a lot of cash flow, um, but can have, a, if they're utilised properly, can have a big impact. Mr. Clear has pointed out to me what we need to do, so I'm just going to go and implement all those strategies and we just move forward. It's now time to return to the boardroom and update the innovators. Clancy, welcome back. Good to see you again, man. Have a seat. So listen, the last time we saw you, there was a lot of work to be done. I know you've been out on the road and you've done some of the assignments that we've asked you to do and we're anxious to hear how it went. So tell us about it. Well, basically what I've done is went to the JBDC Expo and got um, a template. Now this is a simple business plan template that we use with all our small business operators. Now in this section here, as you can see, we have like the executive summary, history of the business. And at the back here you have like the financial statements that you would complete. It's a simple business plan that will help you to guide you as to where you want to take your business, where you are now and where you want to be. The main thing that we were hoping for for you was for you to make a decision because we were very concerned that you know you weren't really operating a business. Are you going to formalize this thing and run a real business? Not only would I formalize all the necessary, we'll also continue to be given the necessary service in terms of our skill and combine that with our business strategy and in order to make a one-to-one -one, um, service in terms of customers and you dream it and we can create it. So basically we are so thinking about it. like a real businessman. <laughs> exactly. I love it, I love it, I love it. Awesome. It was a wonderful feeling I got when I saw Clancy walked in the boardroom. He is of a different mindset. He's more focused 
and just by visiting the JBDC Expo, he has gotten great insight from them. And I just hope, just hope that he will continue, he will implement, he will measure, and he will be successful. All the best, Clancy. Clancy has made remarkable progress in a very short time, and I really feel positive about it because, you know, he now understands that he has to be formal in treating his business as not just a thing, but as a real business. And it requires thinking about strategy, vision, and executing and already I can see that he is ready to make that change and I'm really excited about the future for him. Clancy is one of those assignments that you just hope that you get. He came in here as a very skilled tradesman. He took our advice, he went out, he got some knowledge and he's turned around now and he's applied that knowledge. What's going to be important for him to continue to do well is that the training that he's gotten, the information that he's gotten, it doesn't stop there. He needs to continue to, to seek out the information, learn new methods, learn new strategies to making the business stronger and more powerful and you'll do really well in the future. I was a trade man, but I've grown from a trade man and now transform into a businessman in terms of supplying my customers the quality that they need to get. I've put in place measures and all the necessary steps that I should take in order to move forward. If you want to reach us, you can reach us on All Things Granite on Facebook and you will see all the quality that is there for you to open your eyes much better in terms of supporting us more. The boardroom table and chairs were provided by the Corporate Interiors International Limited. We sell solutions, not just furniture. Gary's wardrobe was provided by Max Brown Limited. Next time on The Innovators. There are times when cash flow is kind of tight and I do have to use my own salary from teaching to put into the business just to get by. If he's getting more than 60% of his business from one client, he is in trouble. That's a huge, huge yeah. risk. For further information on any of our assignments, please visit us at facebook.com slash innovators TV or email us at innovators TV at gmail.com. The Innovators was brought to you by the Jamaica Yellow Pages. What will you discover today? Columbus Business Solutions, the Jamaica Business Development Corporation, the Gleaner, Future Services International, and Silver Star Motors. The Innovators is brought to you